Parker. Down, Colorado sweeps the number 19 team in the country. The Buffs are 4-0. CU takes out Illinois. And a perfect four-match start for the Buffs. Well, the volleyball team continues to roll undefeated on the campaign. Came up with a couple of big victories over Big Ten schools this past weekend. Number 19, Illinois and Iowa. Now they head to the road, and they're already getting votes, by the way, in the top 25. Back at the Stampede, voice of the bus, Mark Johnson, cross-country coach Mark Wetmore joining us. Open things up this past Friday right here in the Boulder area with the Colorado Open. How South, was that event? South Campus, yeah, also known as the Buffalo Ranch. Right. And, uh, yeah, it was us against us. Yeah. But it's necessary to start the season, uh, start our practices. Sure. So uh, everybody all over the country has some uh, half-hearted thing the first weekend of September. But ours tells us who's fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth man or woman, which okay. is what we need to know now so we can begin to make our rosters for the bigger things coming. Yeah, I, I saw where you said it, not so much at the top, but you want to know who's kind of following in there. Start on the women's side. What did you find out? Well, we found out that uh, graduate transfer Bailey Hertenstein is really good. Okay. She was leading the group, cruising, talking, took a couple steps ahead of him at the end. We learned that uh, a veteran for us, Carly Bennett, had a very good summer mm -hmm. because she looks like a contender for the big money races later. Uh, and we learned that there's a couple of people banged up that we have to get fixed up pretty soon. <laughs> <laughs> right. How about on the men's side then? Uh, the men's side, there were some pleasant surprises and some disappointments, more pleasant surprises, I would say. But if you saw those cool videos that uh, the department shot, you saw seven or eight men cross the line talking together. So that's good news. Okay. How about any youngsters? You got any freshmen that really uh, kind of caught your eye? Well, true, true freshmen are always pretty much on the back shelf in our sport. It's mm -hmm. very hard for a male or a female 17 year old to impact a Division I cross country team. But uh, some. Redshirt freshmen, uh, males who were who were freshmen last year, looked really good. Lucas Haug, Boulder High. All right, so Mark Whitmore getting a little taste of what his team's going to look like as they progress their way through the semester. Right now, let's take a look at a great event we just had here at the University of Colorado, Women with Altitude Leadership Event. Powered by Ford, cars, trucks, and SUVs built for America, built Ford proud. Part of the student athlete experience here at CU is providing really unique opportunities for student athletes to connect with community members, fellow staff, as well as other huge Buff fans to talk about all of the great things that not only are provided to them as student athletes here, but how to then network and go and find a wonderful job, internship, or whatever experience they want after they leave here. At CU, we really think about the whole student athlete as part of the Crawford Family Student Athlete Program. And we just want to make sure that every single student athlete that comes here is life ready, ready to go when they leave. Our keynote speaker, Ashley Grosh, who was a former soccer player here at CU, had a really wonderful point of buffs really support buffs. It's in our same mantra of shoulder to shoulder, we do have to fight together. So every single person that's here has the same goal of really just trying to help our student athletes excel, elevate, and with this Women with Altitude event, we just want to make sure that every single person has a wonderful new idea of how high that they can go. There's a great event, the Women with Altitude Leadership event, as we continue talking cross-country with Mark Wetmore. All right, so you have the Colorado Open. Well, what do you take away then from that? What are you hoping to see and then take to, to build upon? Well, again, the front people were under, had the reins on them on purpose. Sure. Uh, but from fifth, sixth, seventh on back, we learned a lot. Mm -hmm. uh, because we can't run 25 <laughs> the next yeah. time we go to the line. Uh, so we're trying to find out where the team cuts off. Is this a great evaluation tool for what your athletes did during the offseason? Yeah, absolutely. It, it's a great evaluation tool for what our athletes did not do. So the people <laughs> who didn't get things done in the summer don't look so great on September 2nd. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So moving forward, you got about three weeks until you're kind of back in action. We'll talk about that in a moment here. So what's the plan of moving forward here? Oh, back to work. Kill yeah. them. Three weeks of uh, misery, yeah. And okay. then the o Oklahoma State Cowboy Jamboree. Yeah. Yeah. So when you say misery, is that just kind of explain to folks what, what the yeah, workouts no, will look I like? I was for... being melodramatic. Sorry, we don't, nothing's that hard. It's just relentless. Okay. So back to work the next day and seven days a week and sometimes twice a day, but it's never miserable. Does that just consist of a lot of miles? Does it consist of short bursts? What kind of training are we talking about? Different times, uh, different 
goals different times of the year. Right now we're transitioning from the summer of just miles and miles and miles okay. to more race pace effort and, and some higher heart rates, yeah. So three weeks from now, we talk about them being in Stillwater, Oklahoma for the Cowboy Jamboree, as Mark mentioned, the oldest cross-country meet in America, right? Yeah, I think so, yeah. 40-something yeah. years. Yeah, and, and that, that's a big event for a number of reasons, correct? Well, the Jamboree itself is shrinking, but the NCAA championships are at Oklahoma State this November, so we're all getting there this year to learn the course and make our mistakes. Sure. Yeah. How much do you still run? Uh, I'd rather not talk about miles, but I run about an hour a day. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Well, you know, if you're gonna gonna teach it, you gotta. I do go it as out well. in the dark before I, anybody <laughs> can see me. All right, Mark. Thank you very thank much. Thank you, Mark. All right, Mark Wetmore, cross country coach here at the University of Colorado. Speaking of winning, we did about volleyball just a moment ago. We're gonna talk about the winning soccer program. Danny Sanchez is gonna do and join us next.